This was one of the more scary moments of my life to date, but let's back up a bit so I can explain how I got here and tell you what happened next. Welcome back, hopefully back to Jess Brain. If this is your first time stopping in, hi, we're Jess. Welcome to the pastel-hued world inside my brain that is often filled with office memes and motherhood topics. You may have found me through my football fainting husband, that's good sports, or his charitable bachelor bestie co-host Tom Grassi. They're kind of the best, but we're biased. Anyways, I'm a 35-year-old new mom. New, Carmi's almost three. Last but not least, I was also born in a Montana doomsday cult and spent the first eight years of my life there. Okay, now that we're caught up, let's hit my on already. already. It started on Mother's Day last month. That evening as I was putting Carmi to bed, my hands drifted down to adjust my shirt and I felt it. It had been a long day. I had partaken in some mimosas earlier, but I was almost certain I felt it. Now my family has a history of breast cancer. I check myself all the time and I have for years. This felt new and it wasn't small either. So it started to scare me that night. The next morning when we were all awake, Ken Brandon was making his coffee. He can't function before coffee. It is what it is. I grabbed his hand and I said, feel this. He felt it. He agreed there was something there. Two days later, I was driving in for a breast exam. That's where she confirmed the lump and ordered a follow-up imaging appointment for a diagnostic mammogram, a breast ultrasound, and a 3D breast ultrasound. Driving home from that appointment was hard because that's when the fear of the unknown really started to hit. When she did the exam just now, she said it was good that the lump was like movable and the next step is we'll go and get i'll go and get an ultrasound on it hopefully soon hopefully i can get that done before we take off to san diego i had spent hours on the phone in the days leading up to my trip calling doctor's orders calling insurance i had really wanted to get the ultrasound and the mammogram done before we left for san diego but that was quickly becoming evident that it was not going to be possible so again brandon helped me stay in the moment and that trip ended up being exactly what i needed Three days after we were back in Denver, it was imaging day. I was scheduled for a diagnostic mammogram, which is what they schedule when they find something concerning in your yearly mammogram that they want to take a closer look at. I was slightly nervous for the mammogram, but I was more terrified for what the future procedures were going to hold. I literally started this channel a year ago because I was scared of dying, and I wanted to make sure that if something bad happened, my daughter would be able to watch these videos. So while it sounds morbid, it also seemed perfectly ironically cruel that I was now being faced with the fear and potential of breast cancer. Brandon, of course, drove me to the appointment that morning. The mammogram itself was easy peasy lemon squeezy. The technician was so warm. She walked me through everything that was gonna happen. When I finished the mammogram, they took me to a private waiting room, and then they went and got Brandon from the public waiting room and brought him back so that we could wait together. I think we were only waiting in there for maybe 10 or 12 minutes before they came, got me, and they took me off for the breast ultrasounds. That first ultrasound was honestly a lot like a pregnancy ultrasound. Like, you lay down, they put a little bit of warm gel on, and they take the wand and just go over it multiple times around the lump. I remember purposefully not looking up and over at the screen while she did this one. It took about 10 minutes, and then she handed me a towel, I wiped off the cream, and she set up the 3D ultrasound machine. That one was kind of like a mix between the mammogram and the regular ultrasound. I was still laying down, but there was like a big metal arm that comes over with a glass plate, more cream goes on, and then that comes down and kind of just like presses hard all over the areas so that they can get like really thorough imaging. This was when I made the mistake of looking up and over the screen and I saw it. The not so small size dark lump in the middle of my white dense globby breast on her screen and she was taking a measurement of like the diameter and I could feel my heart like immediately start to just go so, so fast, just a mile a minute. Now the best case scenario at this point that I had surmised from both my doctor and Google was one, it was some type of a cyst that was maybe filled with fluid that could just be drained. Two, it was a benign something, tumor something, but benign. The third option, obviously not so good, was that it would show something cancerous. Since this was a diagnostics mammogram, to look closer at the lump that they had already found concern with, they had a radiologist on site to review everything and give you results right away. So just knowing that I wasn't gonna have to wait days or weeks for results already like made me feel lighter. As usual, Brandon and I were able to keep things pretty light in the waiting room. 
I don't really remember what he said, but he made me laugh a lot in those 15 minutes. And then the doctor came in and the results were given. Benign, not cancerous. When we climbed back into his truck, we both breathed a giant sigh of relief. I definitely had some sobs and we drove off to have a waffle. Everything was groovy. Here's how I want to wrap this video up. It goes without saying that I am obviously so relieved it went the way that it did. Benign was one of the two options we wanted and we got it. Overall, my mammogram and ultrasound showed really healthy breasts, according to the doctor and the radiologist. They said there was nothing abnormal about the lump, maybe a lymph node that was either new or had gone previously unnoticed, even though it wasn't previously unnoticed. Like I said, I check all the time. Anyways, yeah, it's just gonna be there from now on and I will go back for a follow-up image a mammogram in six months, make sure nothing has changed, but they're not anticipating that they'll see anything different than what they saw last month. Lastly, some of you might know that we just had Tom and Johnny in town for the Denver leg of their 30 and 30 trip, and I'll tell you, I'm not sure I've ever seen something more inspiring. The crowdsourced good that equated to huge amounts of money for St. Jude was incredible to witness. Meeting you all in person and getting to see Brandon experience face to face how much love so many of you have for him was something we'll carry with us forever. This channel is not monetized at the moment, but you can bet your bottom that as soon as I am, we will be raising some money for some foundations. I'm not really sure what that's gonna look like, but I have some ideas um, about where that money can go. Until then, go to your physicals, get your checkups, listen to your body. Ladies, do yourself exams, and um, appreciate you guys. Lots of love. Dear Miss Philippus, your recent breast imaging examination showed an area that we believe is benign. In parentheses, it says not cancer. However, you should have a short-term follow-up exam to confirm that this area has not changed.